right now? Okay. Hello and welcome back. We are into the second game on our match against Southern Alberta. We are going right into it as Dype is going up against their uh, Pelotina player. And we are in um, a, one of the village stages mm. from Animal Crossing. Because, of course, of course yeah. we are. Palu is uh, already putting out a very aggressive front on Dipe here, um, getting him up to 106 uh, while playing at a very comfortable 12, but uh, Dipe getting some damage out and bringing him up to 34. Uh, it's a really tough fight. Uh, you know, we saw a tough loss um, from Dipe during the last match against uh, their Falco player. So, um, yeah, um, you know, they're still trying to recover from that. But um, still doing pretty okay for this fight. Uh, they're pretty high up uh, in terms of damage right now. So uh, the could resolution be. of the team is that they may have taken the first game, but that is the only game that they're taking. Mm. And that is a sentiment we share as well. And I'm I have no doubt that our vandals and vandal fans watching us agree. So here we are, center stage. A nice up tilt. Up smash. Mm. Uh, I did not see. Um, uh, but, you know, Falcon's been staying alive for uh, a good while. Um, as, as, as I say that. Um, <laughs> he loses, he his, loses first his first talk. Uh, that's great. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? Um, as long as he can get some damage on Pelotina, mm -hmm. uh, then this won't be too bad. Losing well, one stock is I mean, they've been able to get damage, but just not enough to take out a stock. You know, as we've been seeing... Oh, never mind. Was Jay able to get 30 on him? Oh! oh! And that. Oh, my God. Okay, never I mind. That. I take back everything I said. Dipe is uh, God, I guess. <laughs> um, Jesus. Oh, wonderful. my God. Offstage battle is the best. I love seeing it. And honestly, capitalizing on this Pelotina's just slight opening. Mm -hmm. between like the teleportation and a uh, real recovery and capitalizing yeah but then again falcon is once again at 119 percent they're both at uh two stocks mm -hmm. severe damage advantage in favor of the trojans but hopefully captain falcon can hang on just a little longer to maybe make a similar move to earlier. Nice falcon kick. Mm -hmm. And once again in center stage, kind of dancing around each other, not making many moves, not much damage. Oh, until I say that. And a throw from Pelotina takes out Captain Falcon's second stock. Uh, for some reason, Pelotina decides to hang off the edge for a little bit, but a few combos uh, bring uh, the last stock on Falcon up to mm -hmm. 40. 7%. Now, this is exactly what we saw during the last stock fight. You know, Dype wasn't getting the kind of damage that he needed on Palatina to take off another stock. Um, and, you know, it, it seemed like at some angles they were having trouble getting in and uh, trying to go do things, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, Palatina really has good control on this fight, um, doing oh. some good damage. But Dype uh, still putting out a very good fight. Uh, trying to uh, balance out the damage here while still taking some hits from Palatina and Palatina getting an up smash to finish off Dipe, uh, leaving the score in the Trojans' favor at 11-9. Uh, nine. Nine. Yeah, so... Yeah. This it's a little is a rough. Little it's the first time that the opponents have had the score advantage here. Uh, second time. No. I mean, first time in the, the beginning, but second time tonight. They had the advantage during the last battle. Oh, well, oh, yeah. But not after, like, a fight. That's what that's I meant. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. But, so, we will be moving... Oh, I love the English that I just gave out there. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it will be Pelotina against another one of our Vandals. Uh, Dipe was able to take off one of their stocks, so we'll be going in there with the stock advantage, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, overall, I have more hope for our Vandals. No. Uh, it looks like we might be staying on the same stage. Mm. But I'm I not sure who we're putting up next, though. Yeah, no, I have no idea. Um, think there isn't much more to go on between these characters. We don't need to try and find out who they're gonna put up. Uh, we might be putting up Asda. 
Maybe. Asda. Kind of. Wasn't it Asda against Pelatina? I believe so, yes, yeah, during the last fight and was able to do a pretty uh, good impact against Palatina here. Um, and now, since we kind of understand more of Palatina's fighting style, I wouldn't be surprised if we are uh, a little more sharp against mm -hmm. her um, this time around, but I am not sure. Yeah, so if it's Asdo, we're going to be seeing possibly a repeat of the last game. Or we could put in uh, Shiny Shoes and see a Rosalina against Palatina. Mm-hmm. Which would also be interesting. Mm -hmm. We saw a similar matchup earlier on uh, against Rigby High. Mm -hmm. So, wouldn't so I be surprised if we saw something like that again? But um, none of us are really sure what's going on. Yeah, it's a little bit longer of a break than we're used to in between matches. But it looks like we're finally changing out our Vandals. And Dipe is Asda. Yeah. Called that perfectly. Yeah. I'm guessing we're going to be putting Hunter last hunter or shiny shoes are last obviously because we're already on the second player but hunter and shiny shoes are last probably hunter mm -hmm. now we're going up against palatina again palatina Pal i've been saying paula but like it's not a ul so i don't know so palu maybe palatina. oh and we're on final destination interesting I believe this is the final uh, fantasy map. We had a little bit of a button check in the beginning, but I think we're okay now. Mm. Um, so we're we're coming into this fight with uh, Asda with full stocks. Um, meanwhile, Palette is playing with two, um, and uh, still putting some decent damage out on Asda, uh, using uh, their shield and spot dodges at the right moment to uh, avoid a couple of his attacks. Um, but still doing pretty good nonetheless. Uh, the, uh, why am I blanking? I was going to say something there. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Uh, Asda using a, uh, a flurry of attacks on uh, Polly's shield, uh, meaning that none of them went anywhere. Kind of sucked, but that's okay. It happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, the shield could have broken down, but it didn't. But. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, Paulo has gotten some very good damage on Asda there, uh, playing 129 as opposed to uh, Paulo's 48. Um, you know, it's very dangerous, and Asda has not really been able to get back on stage to do damage to Paulo here, uh, which might not be good uh, for this fight uh, if they're not able to take advantage uh, of the stock there, which it doesn't seem like they are. You know, this is around what we saw with, uh, with the last fight as well. Um, you know, we were able to get uh, probably up into the 50s and pretty much around there. They uh, had gotten us into a point uh, where, you know, they were able to take us off and, uh, you know, leaving us to fight off of a fresh stock and then continuing to do more damage on us, you know, getting uh, as to up to 73% here, uh, now 90 uh, and just doing really well with the ledge guarding. Um, not really giving Asda an opportunity to get back onto the stage there. Um, I know this is probably not something that I should speculate, mm -hmm. but this is a very different play style than I saw this Palatina playing last time. It <laughs> were, were they sandbags in the first game? Unlikely, but I mean, this is much more aggressive play style. It's much more mm. uh, util focused. Uh, definitely a more effective use of these utils mm. that bring it what, th taking what things changed? a step up like i can't really tell i'm too tired to notice these kinds of things um but uh paula is getting some decent damage on asda meanwhile asda is struggling to find the pockets that he needs to get into to get some damage out on paulo they were able to get a good uh up tilt there um but not enough to take paulo out which is uh, pretty annoying, I understand, but uh, still really tough. Mm -hmm. uh, the score advantage is still in the Trojans' favor. Um, but, you know, Asa is doing their best to get some extra damage out on Palu there. Um, you know, they're playing with two stocks. And yeah, and they're beautiful. right there is able to take off um, the first stock for this fight. However, they're still playing at a disadvantage as Asa is on their final stock of the fight. Um, and looking to get some extra damage, uh, reading that recovery oh. really well to get some extra damage, uh, you know, probably finding that crit. Um, 
but not, but not enough out. take uh, to take off as they're there. Uh, doing really good kind of so far, um, but uh, you know, Palu is able to read them well enough to uh, Get a find their grip. recoveries and um, take off a second player. Uh, leaving the score, I believe it would be. It's 10 uh, 6 now. 10 6, yeah. A little their rough. Favor, this is mm -hmm. uh, a, almost a complete reverse of what we see, saw last game. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we can catch up here. Uh, possibly, Shiny Shoes coming in next. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I predict Shiny Shoes coming in, in next mm -hmm. with Rosalina going up against Palatina. It's going to be different. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. I would imagine so. There we go. I know our players so well. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I just read Angelo's mind. Maybe I did that. Uh, my water. Did you God forget to it. grab yeah, water? I forgot. No, I I got my water. I just left it. <sighs> would okay. would um no, 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 production okay. be it's nice fine. enough to throw it over here? No, it's. No, Please? It's, no, it's it's fine. I can I can go and do it later. You don't have to get it. <laughs> it's water. Yeah, I can yeah, but it's it's I can I left it over there. I can go get it later. It's not that big a deal, yeah. <laughs> you gotta flip it onto me. Oh, oh so close. Thank you, production. <laughs> You were saying you needed water. Yeah, earlier. I can go get it myself though. And I already had a bottle, so I'm not that panicked. Water helps you wake up. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. The Let monster it doesn't it even help me wake up. Dude, caffeine doesn't do shit to me. Oh, <laughs> come on. Sam has said worse. Sam has said much worse on the stream if you see our Sam's. You you you've casted with Sam. I have. Yeah. She, she does not curse around me. Oh, around you. <laughs> Sam has made an OnlyFans joke on stream with I know, me. I saw that one. <laughs> Let's just say it was continued. Huh? <laughs> oh, It was yeah. said like twice. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I there was the continuation of that joke yeah. on my stream. Oh. But. Yeah. No. No bad Sam's words. great. Love Sam. I do love Sam. I cannot wait until we cast together again. It's going to be so much fun. I don't know when. Do you want to take over for next Tuesday? I can't do Tuesdays. Okay, yeah. So I don't know. All right, here we are on fan final destination once again. Mm -hmm. Rosalina against Palatina, taking off those first two stocks. Mr. Gaiman? Okay, so they picked Mr. Gaiman Watch for the, uh, the... Either they picked it or that's just what it is, but... um. Uh, the 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 game and watch theme is playing right now, uh, which is interesting for this stage and for these characters. But that's fine. I like the game and watch theme. It's very I mean, silly. Um, whatever, whatever works. Yeah. Um, now we see Rosalina oh. getting some good damage on Palatina, but same uh, from Palatina here. Uh, you know, it's uh, kind of just back and forth for right now. Uh, nothing is really happening that's too significant. Uh, Palatina is getting some okay damage on um, Shiny there, getting them up to 76 uh, and doing a pretty decent job ledge guarding. Um, not really giving them an opportunity to get back on the stage. And even when they do, they still don't really have uh, the grip that they need on the tempo of the fight to uh, keep going there. So, you know, it's, oh, nice. it's a little rough, but it, it is how it is, I guess. Um... You know, uh, Shiny is still playing with three stocks anyway. Uh, and this is the part where we're probably going to see Palutena take off a stock at Shiny, consi uh, considering, um, you know, their patterns from the previous matches. Uh, but Shiny is still going really strong, getting some oak, uh, decent damage on Palutena there and just looking for an opportunity to take off that final stock and um, finish off the fight against Palutena uh, in I uh, hopefully try to work towards bringing the score back in the Vandal's favor. Uh, you know, uh, St. Alberta definitely does have uh, the mental advantage here, having won the first game, uh, which is definitely helping them through um, 
this fight here. But uh, but honestly, Palatina is just good. Yeah, that is true. Palatina is a very good cl uh, player. Um, whoever they are. <laughs> yeah, it, they're already at 118 on their last stock, so it's definitely, definitely much better much than favorite. uh what some of the other players have been able to do and trying to getting that up stock and finally able to take off Palatina um yeah. bringing the score five, five nine. nine yeah it's um still in the Trojans favor but hopefully this is the first step uh into bringing it in back into our court um I mean we saw the recovery from them it is possible mm -hmm. they had much this uh, much similar uh, differences in stock mm -hmm. uh, last game, but in reverse. So maybe, maybe win this one. I'm yeah. hoping we win this one. Mm -hmm. Always. Uh, obviously, it's it's understandable that the uh, the kind of mental diff here. You know, both players going in undefeated, uh, or both teams going in undefeated uh, during this um, this season. Season, yeah, and whoever is able to take hold of that and uh, make Gets it their advantage is who usually wins these kinds of fights. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that the Vandals are able to pick it up a little bit more here and, um, you know, bring it the fight either a little closer or back into our favor. Um, but who knows what's going to happen? I mean, they're either going to bring in their Captain Falcon character or uh, this isn't a dig at you. You're not forgettable, I promise. I'm just trying to think of the next, the other person. The key. Is it a K rule? No, that's Rigby. Yeah, that's Rigby. They have a f so they Falco have a Falco player, a yeah. Falco, a Falcon. They have Palatina, and then Hero. Uh, yes, Hero. P yeah. Hero's probably gonna be next. Yeah. Against Rosalina once again. Yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, Rosalina's on two stocks. Sorry, Shiny Shoes is on two stocks. Uh, Hero's gonna be on all three, so they will have the stock advantage. But you know what? Actually, you know, I'm not going to go based on observations from last game. Because Palatina shattered them. Yeah. Yeah. So Just, just when you think you know what's going to happen. Right? Mm. Smash Bros. at its finest. Yes, definitely. <laughs> oh, I love Ultimate. And we are once again in Final Destination. I feel like that's going to be the new small battlefield. But at least it's pretty to look, like, look at in the background changes. Yeah. Heroes back up on the stage. It seems like uh, Alberta is following the similar pattern uh, of players from the last game here. Um, so uh, hopefully we're able to see Rosalina take this fight again uh, as they were able to, I believe, against Hero, if I remember correctly. So uh, show some sh support. I can English. For Shiny Shoes as we go into the next battle because we need it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, Shiny is getting some uh, pretty decent damage, getting able to uh, get, uh, getting able, wow, okay, okay. Um, getting in on Hero and getting some good damage out on him, I think is what I meant to say, I don't know. Um, getting him up to 59. We do remember, I br uh, believe, uh, Hero was very susceptible to being taken off the stage. Um, I'm pretty sure we saw Hero, or not Hero, um, Hunter play against Hero last yes. game. Uh, You're right. And, you know, Hunter was able to keep getting him off the stage. And uh, Hero's ability to cover what is was that? good, but, um, you know, not always where it needs to be. As you can see, Hero is up at 129 already. I uh, meanwhile, Shiny is up at uh, 85. I think his ability to recover is totally dependent on which skill he's currently using. Yeah. Like that bounce skill. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, fairly but uh, Shiny answers the stock trade. Yeah. Um. Bro, you're speaking similish to me. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. That's real. That's fair. Yeah, uh, we're being told that Hero's entire character is just one big cheese strat. And yeah. <laughs> They are at 9 MP, 2 MP now. Yeah. That's pretty dangerous Not for exactly them. sure why they use their heal ability, as they hadn't taken any damage up until that point, I'm pretty sure. Oh, using Snooze is a good idea, but he was a little too far away. Yeah. So, um, Shiny is back uh, on Hero's ass, uh, just getting some additional damage out, and uh, 
Not really letting up, but uh, oh. yeah, look at him, look at him go. That Shiny is, is very good juggling. at uh, juggling, as we've seen in the past. And uh, if Shiny is able to uh, capitalize on that, they should be able to take another stock off of Hero there. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, losing Luma in the process, almost losing that recovery. Um, but, you know, still able to get back on stage, still able to do a decent amount of damage, uh, getting Luma back. And uh, fight, fight, I'm pretty hard. If I do say so myself. Yeah. 121% on uh, Hero and 70 on our Vandal side. Things are looking into our in our favor, and we are now 1-1. One, one stock is even. Damage is now in favor of Hero, but you know what? I think Rosalina will be bringing that up pretty quickly. Unless that happens. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, Rosalina I told you. stays in. Shiny... Uh, Rosalina is a floatier character, a heavier character, isn't really affected by those crits as much as you might think, even when they're on a vulnerable part of the stage. Now, um, sorry, I was a little awkward. Um, you know, Shiny is looking for an opportunity to get back in on Hero, get some extra damage out, and um, uh, try and do uh, just a little bit more fight in here, uh, doing the uh, understage travel move. Uh, which I wasn't expecting from them at this point in the fight. Definitely a risky move with how far up they are. Um, but maybe an attempt to get Hero off the stage um, once more. I'm, I'm not really sure what the intention was, but Honestly, I, they're I not dead, so. Never is. Always always succeeds on that. Mm -hmm. Scary for me, but. No, that was scary for me at that time, shit. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, no, just this still going off and uh, getting some damage out on uh, Hero there. Uh, but a very mm, annoying, uh, annoying move. Uh, is able to take another stock off of Shiny, leaving the score far in the Trojan's favor. I'm pretty sure it's... It's 3-4. Oh, really? Oh. Okay, never mind. I think. Wait, no. It's three seven. It's three seven. I was redoing the math in my head. Yeah, I, I was like, I don't think it's three four. That's crazy. But yeah, it's three seven. Uh, that means they have an entire player ahead of us. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, two. That's okay. We're better. Boat different. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a hunter just. Sleep. Yeah, we're just gonna hunter. We're we're just gonna have hunter. A hunter sweep. Yeah. I believe in that. Hunter's going to go in, not miss a single shot, hit every single frame, take off the stock, take off another player. It's going to be easy. Hunter sweep. It's going to be a Falco v. Falco in the end? I believe so. If yeah. we're going with the same order, it's going to be a Falco v. Falco. And then it'll turn out to be who's the better Falcon player. I can get behind that. Yeah. yeah. And it's obviously Hunter. Mm -hmm. It's obviously Hunter. I don't have any anxiety whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> kind of yeah. hard uh, casting bad games like this, huh? I do cast Rocket League. Hey, th those aren't all bad. Oh, yeah, I know, but we have some serious losses sometimes. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, I, I have cast experienced CS some normally. serious losses. I don't care about CS. Yeah. They're doing their own thing over there. I'm glad we don't, or at least I don't cast Overwatch either. Mm hmm Taking off that second stock and heading straight into battle. I've had to cast for, like, FIU, which was our first loss. Um, and obviously we experienced um, the George Fox loss together. Yeah. Against uh, we our Valorant casting. team. We weren't casting, but we were there yeah. witnessing it. Mm hmm Or at least I was hearing it, but I wasn't. Be, I wasn't able to watch it. I was mm -hmm. doing our cycling thing in the very back corner. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But as, you know, exactly as I said, your Hunter is able to get in and uh, do some good damage. Not as much as Hero, as, as you can see, Hero is up uh, 45 there against Hunter's 55. Uh, but Hunter doing some good damage and uh, trying to bring that um, back into his favor. Um, 
as a hero messes around and tries to pick what ability he's going to use next, I guess. The thing is, um, one major struggle that Falco is having right now is not able to keep hero in the air. Mm -hmm. Not able to keep that juggling, uh, com those juggling combos up. And that's really hurting how much damage he's able to impart. Yeah, that's true. You know, uh, we see Hunter use those a lot. Um, those kinds of combos. And even though the damage with Vanit is still in Hunter's favor. Oh. Oh. See, that's what I'm. Never at. mind. There was no but. Yeah. He didn't lose a stock. He did not lose a single stock, and that's nope. what we needed. It is now. Oh, sorry. It is three, six. Yeah. They have two more players. Come on, Falco. Come on, Hunter. You got this. And Hunter's going to three-stock this guy because he's going to be distracted uh -huh. by something. I don't know, buddy. Earthquake. Earthquake. In Alberta, maybe not, but who knows? Tornado. I'm hoping for anything right <laughs> now. <laughs> Power outage. Mm -mm. Not for us. <laughs> Can't even knock on the wood. I got a pound on it, dude. <laughs> that is, you you cannot be saying that. Oh, my God. With how things have been going for us this week. Oh, God. If Southern Alberta is watching us, uh, we've been having problems with our gas yeah. all over campus. Actually, all over, all over the region. Yeah. That's and bad. it's getting cold. So that, that's been our issues. And more things can happen because it's November in Idaho. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's Idaho. So. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you haven't experienced Idaho winters yet, have you? No. It's not like I've, I haven't experienced a cold winter before. Oh, it's not that it's not that it's cold. I mean, it's it can get cold. It can get snowy, but Yeah. I've lived in a mountain town. Yeah. That's what's so great about California. We have like a bunch of biomes. We have pretty much every biome except for swamp. <laughs> that too. Yeah, we got that too. <laughs> I yeah, if you go to, like, La Brea, yeah, we have these things in L.A. called the La Brea Tar Pits. Oh, yeah, I it's know about the Tar Pits. Yeah, they're cool. What am I talking about? I haven't been to one. Yeah. I've heard they're cool, though. My parents, my mom, my mom tells me how cool they are. Yeah. She's a very much a nature science person. That's awesome. Actually, uh, I've been wanting to visit Tar Pits, but for various different reasons. Anyway. I don't trust you with that. <laughs> I do not trust you. Mm -mm. But um, Idaho has desert, forest, mountain everywhere, desert, lake, humid, and bowl. Bowl? Pocatello is a bowl. It's just a bowl? <laughs> Essentially. If you think about the geography. It's like a valley inside of a mountain, but yeah. it's like surrounded by mountain. So, but okay. it's it's like a bowl. Well. And it sucks. Well, it's more like that. Oh, yeah. Nampa. Nampa's Nampa. Yeah, you don't Nampa go to Nampa. Exists. It exists. And Fruitland. Oh, don't talk about Fruitland to me. <laughs> <laughs> I like, okay, so I have uh, some friends who are friends with people from Fruitland. Really nice people. Hate their town. Mm -hmm. I hate going to Fruitland. Ugh. Sorry. Um, Caldwell's interesting. Nampa's no fun. Garden Valley, don't go. Boise's okay. Pocatello, boring. Twin Falls, really boring. Ada County in general, no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ada County drivers? Sorry for the Ada County drivers. That are here. Awful drivers. Awful. The posh people of LA, but much worse. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, we have a bit of Yellowstone. Yeah. yeah. We have a bit of Yellowstone. Mm. Um. I love how many forests we have. It's nice. I love how our we have a v large variety of predators. Yeah, that's true. 
bears, coyotes, cougars. We just have annoying wolves, people. Hawks. The majority of people in California Rattlesnakes. probably should not have licenses. <laughs> um, That's and fair. we have we have a uh, mass amount of uh, nature and stuff like that. You would, I mean, like all it. If all you understand of California is just like L.A., that's pretty much just SoCal, and that's not even all of it. Because then you've also got like what San Diego. Um, I actually have family down in Discovery Bay, and I like visit. I visit them occasionally. I love going down there. Uh, production is telling me that NorCal solo SoCal, and like. In terms of nature and stuff, yes, that's very much true. It's so much prettier. In terms of living, I prefer SoCal. And it looks like Captain Falcon is going up against Falco again, so we're going to say Falcon and Hunter. Falcon and Hunter, once again. Once again, I'm going to hate this. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hate this. Okay. But, um, uh, uh, yeah. Falcon is getting some good damage on Hunter here, but Hunter is able to come out and uh, get some good damage on Falcon here as well. Um, the fight is still relatively even. Not too much is happening right now. Uh, Falcon is getting up in the 35 against Hunter's 25, uh, but still eh, not a, a significant amount. There's the significant amount. Uh, Hunter just going crazy, getting uh, Falcon up into 94. Um, and Falcon just now finding a few windows to take advantage of uh, and get some damage out here. Um, but, you know, it, the fight is still very much in Hunter's favor as we uh, approach into these higher damage percentages here. Both players are playing with three stocks, but it's still in Alberta's favor. Remember uh, that Alberta is playing um, with six stocks. Meanwhile, we are playing with our final three. Uh, and Hunter is able to... Oh! That was... Oh! Oh, that was amazing. Oh. That down... That's that was beautiful. That was excellently played. I want to see more of that. Yeah, um, and we're, we're definitely going to need a lot more of that. Even though Hunter is playing up in a very high damage percentage, you know, Falcon is getting a little greedy, uh, going out for uh, punches that he probably should not be going out for. Um, but, you know, he can afford to do it, honestly. He can afford to do it. And, uh, um, you know, Falcon is... Uh, not doing too great this fight, it doesn't seem. Um, but, you know, Hunter has lost their first stock, um, meaning that the Vandals just have two stocks left uh, to try and bring it back, uh, hopefully bring it up to game three. And uh, it's... Oh, God, Hunter is just doing that. Excellent. Oh, my God. Oh, oh that my was God. That beautiful. Oh, that's... Oh. We enjoy that so much. I Preventing love Preventing recovery is great. That's just awesome. And Hunter is still going insanely strong. Falcon uh, dodging one of their, uh, you know, bullets. But still just going off. Dude, it's been like 30 seconds and Falcon is already at 110. Uh, what what, am I, what the is, hell, dude? Falcon oh, is my not God. playing around. We are going to the next one at 3-2. It's going to be a Falco-Falco fight. And what honestly, the hell? We have okay. So um, it's uh, it's we're on our last players once again. Falcon is uh, no Falco is playing with their final two stocks, and uh, uh, Alberta is playing with their final three stocks. We're about to see a Falco ditto here, which I'm very excited for. I don't think that we've seen that on the channel thus far. Um, but uh, the way that Hunter played that was excellent. Yeah. I mean, I knew it was gonna happen. Sorry, I'm. I said it, you know, that he was going to be distracted the entire time. And Hunter oh, yeah, was just going to take him out. Uh, but this is, like, we're, we're kind of seeing um, a repeat of what we were able to do against Alberta earlier on in the season. Uh, we saw that Hunter sweep. Uh, and uh, Oh, they were the, um, they were the Hunter sweep? I'm pretty sure they were the team. Because they were, oh, yikes. Uh, Alberta's, I think, B team was the, the team that we played against first like way early on in the season i think they were our first game and that was the hunter sweep and that set off the pace for the rest of the season yeah yeah so um excited about that you know that that is 
That is really, really good. Now, obviously, it is very stressful for both parties here. Um, Southern Alberta is fighting for that second point, and the Vandals are fighting for their first point, trying to bring it, uh, the game up to game three. Uh, Hunter is fighting with two stocks. Meanwhile, the Alberta Falcon, or Falco, I'm sorry, is fighting with three. Um, hopefully, they're going to be able to get in and do the damage that they need to do to... Um, you know, take this game and bring it up to game three. I'm very excited mm -hmm. for how this matchup is going to go. What are you expecting out to of this, honest, Amelia? To be honest, there's not a lot that I can say about their opponent, Falco, because we weren't able to see much of their gameplay last mm -hmm. time. That is true. However, going up against our Falco is going to significantly shift their play style and their strategies. And we are going into a village... Um, yeah, a village the stage village map. with moving secondary platforms, mm -hmm. which will also shift how they play against each other. And honestly, it's either or with an advantage towards Alberta. Mm. I'll throw a lot on the line uh, for both teams here. And here we are. Yeah. The two taunts starting off the fight here. Oh. Um, I'm sorry, I have cheese in my mouth. Um, I'm going to take a sip of water and let Amelia take over for me for a minute here. Yes, so we are <laughs> <laughs> ledge guarding at the moment. And we get some uh, up tilts. Nice combat center stage. Going back and forth with damage. But the, Tro uh, sorry, the Trojans are laying some severe hits on Hunter. It's not oh. looking great. But oh. oh, that was... That was dirty. That was a reverse of what we saw in the last game of Falco sending, not allowing our Hunter, sorry, I was going to say our Falco, but I said Hunter instead. Anyway, our Falco uh, recover, and now we are down to one stock to three. Mm -hmm. God, this is not and feeling good. And even then, um, they, were, they were able to go off just like way, way too fast. As you can see, uh, Hunter is playing at 89 uh, percent here and even though the enemy falco is playing at 106 it this they still have all three stocks mm -hmm. and i would like to point out uh enemy falco was dodging the juggling attempts of hunter mm -hmm. which is insane and with with that that's <laughs> game that is a uh, that was very Whoa. fast that was admittedly fast that this is our first actual loss yeah. of the season so we officially take second place yeah which is fine. We have secured our spot for the playoffs. So uh, if there's no break in between how mm -hmm. this happens, I think we immediately start playoffs. Yeah, I think next. Yes, next week or, we'll be going or, into playoffs. Yeah. So um, I was thinking if next week we were going into Thanksgiving break, but that's the week after. Yeah. Very excited about that. Mm -hmm. Going home to visit some family and uh, having a nice time back in the warm, sunny Los Angeles. <laughs> Same, but it's still cold back where I'm yeah. back home. So yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but um, I'll be all right though. Thank you for joining uh, the stream. Um, we loved having you. Thank you for coming and supporting us. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do an interview, but I'm gonna have Amelia keep you company while I go check in on that. Yes. I have stuff to throw away anyway. <laughs> so this was a really intense game. Uh, lots of exciting strategies and plays. Lots of matchups we weren't expecting. Uh, we played against a character that we had never seen before, uh, before today at least. We saw them against Rigby earlier during the scrims, if you saw that other video. But you know what? Our Vandals played really well. This was also an undefeated team. So it wasn't that we are not a good team, obviously. We've seen our previous matchups against everybody else in our league and we dominate our first loss just in general was tonight and I think our uh, Smash team really learned something about their characters and their play style and it looks like we might have an interview Okay, we'll be interviewing the Smash coach Angelo, he'll be joining me really shortly and he's here, hi Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Perfect. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. That was a that was a hard game for sure. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about that? 
that was definitely the best team that we've fought so far, uh, for sure. That was really tough. It, we, we pulled out everything, and they definitely got us, but mm -hmm. we're interested in playing with them more, for sure. So just thinking in the tournament coming up, uh, you're probably going to be going up against them sometime soon again. Mm -hmm. How would you change your approach? Um, I think we found out that we had a few bad matchups that we need to work on, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but thankfully, we still have a, a, a hidden ace on our team, a really good player that we haven't revealed yet. So we'll maybe bring them out next time we play. But it was good to see what they had uh, on the field that we're working with. Yeah. I mean, that's great. And um, what strategies will you employ? Like, did you learn any strategies? For I know we had some uh, repeat characters, like the opponent, opponent uh, Falco and the opponent Captain Falcon. Any mm. moves they did that you found interesting or wanted to add to our arsenal uh, or was it mostly the same uh skill level was really similar it felt like in matches like those where you're fighting the same character as you it's just relying on like a lot of instinct and reading your opponent I in mm -hmm. the moment because you just have to find out what you can do better um and it, it's a little hard to explain but uh mm -hmm. it it it's simple in it sounds simple but it's not it's just um you have to try to outread your opponent and it's it's difficult yeah Thank you for joining me. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for having me. And you guys have a good night.